I went to Belfast for a day trip and here's everything I ate during the trip. But before the start of the trip, I grabbed myself a lemon cupcake in this cafe in Dublin. They put a bunch of poppy seed in the cake and a lemon icing on top of it. Although the cake had a pretty lemony fragrance, it was just too sweet for my taste and for a lemon based dessert it definitely lacked a little bit of tang. After two hours of bus ride, we finally arrived in Belfast and it started to rain right after we stepped out of our bus. So we headed straight to the biggest indoor food market in the city. The present form of St. George's Market was built between 1890 to 1896. Open only on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you could find street food, fresh produces and craft being sold in the market. There was a lot of food to choose from. And the first thing I had is a paprika, cheese and chorizo crab in this crepery. I think the crab batter itself was pretty good. A little bit chewy, a little bit crispy. But flavor wise, I think the chorizo was a little bit overpowering. The whole thing kinda just tastes like chorizo. And there was a little bit too much cheese too, making it a little bit too greasy at the end. My friend had this vegetarian Cuban sandwich. She said it kinda tastes like a pizza. We also had this Mexican street corn in a cup. It was creamy, a little bit spicy, and a little bit tangy from the lime. They also added some tortilla chips in it and added some crunch. This might be the best thing I had in the market. After that, I got some freshly made falafel from another stall. And this might be the cleanest falafel shop I've ever seen. The falafel came with tahini sauce, chili sauce, and some hummus. There was also a little bit of salad underneath, and everything was looking so fresh. It was kinda sad that they fried for a little bit too long, making it a little bit hot and dry from the outside. But luckily they gave us enough sauces to compensate, so overall it's not too bad. We also had these Dutch little pancakes and they were pretty good. We left the market afterwards and went to the Titanic Museum because as tourists gotta do some touristy things. And I just recently watched the Titanic movie for the first time. The weather was getting worse after the museum and we couldn't think of anything to do. And when you're in this part of the world and you have nothing to do, you go to a pub. I had a pint of Kilkenny. As we're only staying there for a day, we found a place for our dinner after the pint. And since my friend's a vegetarian, we ordered almost every vegetarian item on the menu. We had this halloumi fries which was coated in sweet chili sauce. These spring rolls just taste like regular spring rolls. And these cauliflowers were soggy, but the sauce actually tasted pretty nice. We also had this Satan's Guinness pie. The bowl of peas on the side was a little bit sad. The pie itself was okay. The pastry was flaky and the vegetarian filling tasted very similar to a regular Guinness pie. And that's everything I had in Belfast. If you want to watch more, here's a video that I went to another place and had more food. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.